Hi, YouTube. <laughs> this is Natural G1A and Christina. Um, we're here to review Shea Moisture's Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. Uh, I tried the shampoo as well as Christina. That's why we're both doing a review. Um, how do you feel about it? I love it. I don't. I will show you something. If you can see it, how when it covers a bottle, it like coats it. I feel like it does to your hair with moisture, which is good and bad, I guess. But it felt great. It felt wonderful. It smells good, kind of. But it felt really, really great. It was soft, but it felt the best when you're washing it out. Surprisingly. It felt like diamonds and silkworms were just coming down your hair, leaving it luxurious and moisturized. So, <laughs> it has the ingredients water, sugar beets, African shea butter, aloe vera leaf juice. Argon oil, pro vitamin B5, rosemary extract, sea kelp extract, vitamin E, uh, honeysuckle flower, and Japanese honeysuckle flower extract. Um, shake well natural ingredients tend to settle. This is a very natural sh um, shampoo. I do like this shampoo a lot. Um, I do like the fact that um, this shampoo does clean your hair and it's specifically made for dry, damaged hair. What I do not like is because the shampoo is so moisturizing, moisturizing shampoos tend to leave things behind. When you're choosing a shampoo, you want something that's going to clean and not leave stuff behind. That's how you can get actually get to the base and the root of your problem. To really get to your hair, you need shampoos that clean. Um, I feel like Creamy Curl Cleanser and Kinky Curly, they clean because this is so worried about retaining moisture in your hair it's leaving so much behind do not get me wrong this shampoo feels great as far as moisture retention it's a beautiful thing I say use this shampoo if you are going to once every two to three months you're going to get a clarifying shampoo and clarify because this shampoo is going to leave a lot behind I mean its second ingredient is sugar beets and its third ingredient is shea butter over everything it has quite a little few ingredients. So it's like you have to make sure you have something that's going to clear all that out. And that's another reason why I rotate my shampoos. If I'm going to use something like this, which I know is going to leave behind moisture, next week I wash my hair. Instead of treating myself, I can call this little natural hair treat. Instead of treating myself, I'll go ahead and I'll use my kinky curly or I'll use the curls um, cleanser. Um, now we did use it. A good time use was after we dyed our hair. She put a rinse in her hair, jet black. I did midnight blue, basically black. Worked up. But it felt great. Go ahead. It felt great after dyeing your hair. My hair felt a tad bit dry. More after protein dying. treatments. Cause yeah, because your, your hair feels more crunchy, I guess. And dry. Right. But um, it felt like this just restored the moisture. It really and Every is. now and like using it every now and then is, is not a problem. I just follow up with my regular. I don't use these shampoos yet, but I just follow up with my regular 365 Whole Foods lavender shampoo. All right, so <laughs> we get a little long-winded when we have fun. Um, this is a great shampoo. Uh, I was, <laughs> right, it smells good. It kind smells bad. Of. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's it's but it doesn't, I don't think it lingers in your hair. Yeah, it doesn't linger. The smell of this lingers in your hair, not this one. Um, This is a great shampoo. Again, try it if you need moisture retention in your hair. If you don't mind using clarifying shampoos or if you rotate shampoos, this is a good shampoo to use. I absolutely love it, and it's a treat for your natural hair.